Hey guys, welcome to another Monster Hunter World video. Today, I'm finally bringing you guys the long-awaited Switch X sets. Whoa! Before they're utter trash and a huge disappointment. Anyway, I finally got around to figuring out a couple of these and testing them out versus a couple of different things. So without further ado, let's get started. Actually, before we do get started, I just want to put a disclaimer that these are not quote-unquote accessible sets. They're definitely not budget, absolutely not welfare. They're kind of like top 1% builds, actually. They're pretty fucking sweaty, and they require a lot of rare jewels, so before you go and scream in the comments, just wanted to give you a fair warning. That being said, they're really good, though. The first set I have for you guys is an elementless set using the Diablo Switch Axe. The Axe of Demons. This thing has one level 1 slot that I filled with an attack jewel, and one augment slot for which I've opted for a health region augment, and let me explain why. This thing has a ton of negative affinity, which is why you'll see we have weakness exploit and max might and everything like that later on. So if you bring a booster, you'll overcap the crit chance with a 10%, so it's kind of useless. And when you compare the value that you get out of one attack augment versus the value you get off of one health region augment, uh, yeah. The helm is the Dragon King Eye Patch Alpha, slotted with a Mighty Jewel. The chest piece is the Kushala Assist of Beta, slotted with a Tenderizer Jewel. The gauntlets are the Diablo Nero Braces Beta, and the reason I've opted for these is to give us one level 2 slot and one level 1 slot, which we will fill with an Elementless Jewel and another Attack Jewel, respectively. The coil is the Energigante Coil Beta, slotted with a Sharp Jewel. The boots are the Death Stand Shield Beta, slotted with two final attack jewels, and the charm we're going to be using is the Mighty Charm 2. This should give you level 6 attack boost, level 4 handicraft, just enough to give you that white pixel, level 3 weakness exploit, level 3 maximum might, a spare level of focus, protective polish, and a non-elemental boost. Now needless to say, this thing hits really hard, and it also looks pretty cool. Again, like most Diablos weapon sets, you can take this anywhere, which is like its main feature, I guess, the only drawback being the crit chance, but I think we can look past that with the use of an affinity booster. And remember to use whitefish fins to sharpen up in the heat of battle to keep that white sharpness for the entire hunt. Now the second set I have for you is in a similar vein. It's a dragon element set that uses the Devil Joe switch axe. It seems Every friggin' monster in this game is weak to thunder or dragon, so this is a set you can use in a lot of different situations as well. Like I said, the weapon is the Devil Joe Switch Axe, the Terra Tyrannos. This doesn't have any jewel slots, but it does have two augment slots. I opted for an affinity increase to help negate some of that negative affinity, and a health region because, well, why not? You can opt for an attack increase instead, and it's all up to you. For the armor, we're going to use nearly the same pieces for the Diablo set, and if you've noticed, that's because the Devil Joe and the Diablos are a very similar archetype of weapon. They both have negative affinity, high raw, and even both their names correlate to Satan. The armor we'll use is the Nergigante Helm Beta. You can use the Alpha if you don't have a spare attack jewel, otherwise just slot in two attack jewels into this thing, I just personally prefer the look of the Beta. The chest piece is the Kushal Assist of Beta, outfitted with a critical jewel. The gauntlets are the Kaiser Van Braces Beta, outfitted with another critical jewel. The coil is the Nergigante Coil Beta, outfitted with a final critical jewel. The boots are the Death Stand Shield Beta, outfitted with one more attack jewel and one dragon jewel. This thing caps out at one dragon jewel, so don't bother putting in more than necessary. And finally, the charm we're going to be using is the Exploiter Charm 2. This would then give you level 5 attack boost, level 4 handicraft, level 3 critical boost, level 3 weakness exploit, level 2 maximum might, and one level of dragon attack. Now this set doesn't have protective polish, but it does have a considerable chunk of white sharpness that should last you a fair bit. It has high raw, high dragon, and high elder seal. You also have maxed out critical boost in there to help make up for the lower base damage in the Diablos, which is not a lot, but you know. And since we have two augment slots, we only need two max might combined with our affinity augment to cancel out the negative affinity. Alright, so those are two really DPS heavy sets, now let's get into some abnormal status sets. The first one I have for you is a Paralysis set. This one uses the Barreth Grinder 3. This thing has a level 2 slot and a level 1 slot that I filled with a Tenderizer Jewel and a Paralyzer Jewel respectively, and 3 Augment slots. I opted for the Napolitan Ice Cream Solution, so an Attack Increase, Affinity Increase, and a Health Region Augment. The Helm is the Dragon King Eye Patch Alpha, outfitted with a Mighty Jewel. The chest piece is the Wrath Soul Beta chest piece, slotted with another Mighty Jewel. The Gauntlets are the Death Stench Grip Beta, outfitted with two Paralyzer Jewels. The Coil is the Nergigante Coil, slotted with a final Mighty Jewel. And the Boots are the Karen Leg Guards Beta, slotted with two Attack Jewels. The charm we're going to be using is the Handicraft Charm 3. This would then give you level 4 Attack Boost, level 3 Paralysis Attack, 3 levels of Free Element, level 3 Weakness Exploit, level 3 Handicraft, level 3 Maximum Might, and 2 levels of Focus. 
I want to note that you can swap out the charm for the attack charm to max out your attack boost, but this weapon's main weakness is the sharpness, so having Handicraft at level 3 should give you a decent chunk of blue, so I think in the end you will deal more damage by having more blue. It just depends on how often you sharpen. You also have two spare levels of focus, which feel pretty good since you want to be in your amped state as quickly as, uh, as possible and as often as possible, and while that's true for pretty much every switch axe, this one especially because you want to build up your paralysis as quickly as you can with your file attacks. Focus is there to help you out a little bit with that. The best part of this set is that even though you'll deal less damage than with the other sets, the amount of CC you can apply is insane. This thing has hidden paralysis element and its files are paralysis files, so you will paralyze bitches a lot. You can paralyze a monster like three to four times in a hunt easily. You can combine this with an Apothecary Mantle, Shock Traps, Flash Pods, Palico Shock Traps, Palico Flash Fly Cages, and you are literally an AFK machine. This works well solo for annoying monsters as well as in groups, so I highly recommend you guys try out this set. The final set I have for you guys is one I personally enjoy quite a bit. It's a Blast set that uses the Basil Gee Switch Axe. This thing has a level 1 slot that I filled with a Blast Jewel and two Augment slots. For the Augments, I use an Affinity Increase and an Attack Increase, but I would rather re-augment this for a Health Region. To be honest, I'm going to recommend that you guys do opt for a Health Region instead of an attack. I just ran out of stream stones and I got this thing ages ago and I just augmented it for uh, attack so I can't really do that right now but I do recommend you go for the health regen. For the helm we're gonna use the Energigante Helm Beta or Alpha, literally the exact same thing. Use the Beta if you have two spare attack jewels. <laughs> Uh, and if you prefer the look of it, like I do, so. The chest piece is the Dobermail Beta, slotted with a Handicraft Jewel. The Gauntlets are the Kaiser Vanbraces Alpha, slotted with one Attack Jewel. The Coil is the Kaiser Coil Beta, slotted with a Tenderizer Jewel. The Boots are the Kaiser Greaves Beta, slotted with a Final Attack Jewel. And finally, the charm we're going to be using is the Handicraft Charm 3. This would then give you level 6 Attack Boost, level 4 Handicraft, level 3 Blast Attack, level 3 Weakness Exploit, 2 levels of Latent Power, and 2 levels of Maximum Might. But most importantly, the tail set bonus, Master's Touch. This weapon has a surprising chunk of white sharpness that will last you a crap load with your really high crit chance. That 30% crit chance gap can also be closed whenever latent power is active, which will increase your crit chance by 30%. So there will be times in between fights where you will have 100% crit chance, where you will never see your white sharpness decrease. Not only that, but you can build up blast pretty quickly on switch axe, which will bump up your DPS quite a bit. And this thing has a power file, so stunning monsters will be easier, allowing you to smack the crap out of them with explosive hits. Well guys, those are my switch axe sets. Sorry it took so long, I just wanted to finish up some other builds, like the ones I've been uploading and everything like that. Uh, I want to also figure out sets to be pretty good, so I really hope you guys enjoyed them. Yo, I almost forgot, I have to give a huge shout out to my boy Swolepool. This man went through the trouble of making a 9 minute long video and sending it to me, giving me tips on how to play Switch X and showing me his sets, so that proved to be a huge help. Um, his sets gave me a really decent baseline for me to make these ones, and uh, they helped me figure out my playstyle too, so thank you my guy. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description if you guys want to check out his stuff I guess, and I'll also leave a link to the unlisted video he sent me in case you guys want to see his sets and uh, his combos and everything like that just in case, so gotta give credit where it's due. If you have any suggestions or ideas by all means leave them in the comments. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.